man. You can't go on like this. And it's not going to help if something happens to you, too. days, over 150 neighbors and friends of the Morrises have been searching those woods in vain. And now, with all reasonable hope gone, most of them have returned to their own farms, to their own problems, leaving only a handful of bone-weary and heavy-hearted searches to continue on, to find whatever is left for them to find. God, please help us.
way, David. That's it. Under your arms. Are you secure? Uh -huh. Are you okay? Yes. All right. Davy. Oh, Davy. Oh, Mom, it's okay. Don't cry. had an exciting three days. Now, he'll come through in fine shape. And why don't you take him home and put some food in that tummy of his? But what about my friend? He'll be coming back soon, and he'll be worried if I'm gone, won't he? Well, don't you worry about him. We'll take care of him. Take him home. Come on, David. Let's go home. I'll go get the truck. No, you do that, Frank. How the world did he get up there? John? Smell anything peculiar? Yeah, something like an animal. Not like any animal I've ever smelled. It's a musky. Yesterday, when we were looking at Box Canyon, Ann smelled the same thing. How'd he get up there, Doc? Just out playing somewhere. And now look, you've got to get hold of yourself. John, did you smell that? Uh, David, I've had enough of this. Now, you shouldn't do that to your mother. I'm sorry, but my friend came to see me and we played a while. Now, stop it, David. But he did. He carried me down out of the window. Now, I've had enough of your fibbing. And then he got hungry, so I took him into the smokehouse to get some meat. All right, we're going to settle this once and for all. John. What is that odor? to this meat. Davy? He didn't mean to do anything bad. He was just hungry. Mr. Morris, I got something to show you. What is it? 
is it? I don't know, Mr. Morris. Ain't no animal on Earth makes tracks like that. John? What is that? My friend. He's coming back to play with me tonight. What is it, Doc? I don't know. But whatever it is, we've got it for posterity. Frank, I want you to fill up the mold and smooth it out. When it gets hard, let me know. Yeah. No, John. Unless I slept through my three years of zoology at pre-med, there just ain't no such animal. Now, has it occurred to you that perhaps David is playing a joke on us? Joke? Hmm. Well, now, Doc, you, you saw the meat in the smokehouse? Yes. I bet he couldn't do a thing like that. Well, he could have if he had somebody to help him. Why? I mean, what for? <laughs> I don't know, John, but it's the only rational explanation. Oh. Well, all right. How did he get up on that cliff? I mean, how did he... He, he can't climb that. And, and, and what about that? He was out there for three days. I mean, who took care of him? Who fed him? Now, those are some pretty good questions. You think it could have been an animal? 16 foot high, weighing about a ton, fed him, kept him warm? You think it could have been some kind of animal? kitchen hand's got some coffee perker for you. You better stack your guns there. I'd rather Dave didn't know what was going on. Right. Yes, Ann's got some more in the kitchen. I'll get some. Thanks, fellas. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, Davey. Is he really as tall as the house? No. Like I said, he isn't as high as the house, but I'm moved. I see. Now, tell me once more, Davy, where he kept you warm at night. The cave. The cave. Well, he certainly is consistent. Empty? Yeah. Ann, don't you think it's time Davy went to bed? What? Oh. Oh, yes, I do. Kiss your mother good night. So early? Come on, you got a lot of rest to catch up with. But my friend will be... Well, you can see your friend some other time. But I promise now, Come on, get up to bed. Now, shake a leg. Guess I'll make myself useful. Ann. I don't understand this. He's been talking like that all day. Now, it's not like Davy to lie. He's not lying, John. He's just a little boy. I saw it. I saw it. Well, did anybody hit it? That thing's as tall as a tree, Mr. Morris. Was it a bit afraid? Walked upright. Came right to us. So we started a fire. I couldn't believe what I saw. Everybody started shooting. Well, what happened? Did anybody hit it? We don't know, Mr. Morris. It's too dark out there. It seemed real surprised at first, and then it turned and ran. It's hideous. Whatever it is, it's got to be killed. I've imposed on you long enough. This is my affair. Oh, no, come on, stop it, 
Found Davy back the mouth of this canyon. Right here, it narrows in, ends on that sheer wall of rock. This is the only way out. Well, then we've got him trapped. Whatever it is. Well, let's hope so. Mr. Morris, you didn't see it. That thing's so big it would take maybe a dozen shots to bring it down. We don't want to get ourselves killed. Well, what are we going to do? Just wait? That would be too dangerous. Well, then, then what? We could burn him out. Burn him out? Yeah, that's right. There's a good stiff breeze blowing. But thank the Lord it's falling towards him. The brush is good and dry. Matches are too slow. It's got to burn fast. Let me have some shells, Frank. All right, some of you break over some shells, and the others get some brush. We'll make a powder line right along here. It's all right, Davy. It's all right. What are they going to do to him, Mom? <laughs> Davy, you'll understand when you grow up that, that certain things have to be done. Why? Well, your friend, for instance, David, he's, he's just too dangerous to be running loose. He wouldn't want him to hurt somebody. But he doesn't want to hurt anybody. All right, everybody clear. could live in that, no matter what it was. I wonder. Not so much as even a charred bone was ever found in these ashes. No sign. No remains of any kind. Perhaps the creature, or whatever it was, escaped. Or are you thinking, perhaps, that it never really existed at all? At any rate, Dr. Frazier was quite right. There just ain't no such animal. It fits none of the categories of the animals we know about. But then neither do the other things that have without doubt roamed the face of this earth. The abominable snowman of the Himalayas, for instance, or that huge creature reported to be seen so often in Oregon's lumber country. 
But then man is constantly discovering the existence of all sorts of things that are not yet to be seen in the Field Museum in Chicago. Unfortunately, all we know for sure from the facts of this story is that too often it is our way, or more likely our tragedy, to fear what we don't understand. And in our fear, strike out and destroy. In a moment, a word about next week. Summer nights are sizzling with MTV summer concerts on TV 33. Friday night at 8, Asia performs their hottest hits from Japan. Don't miss this rock and roll extravaganza. Get your MTV on Metro Media TV 33, your 7 p.m. news station.